Multiple sclerosis is one of the most common causes of disability in younger adults. It's most commonly diagnosed in people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, although it can develop at any age. It's about two to three times more common in women than men. But what is MS and what are its signs and symptoms? Multiple sclerosis is a condition that can affect the brain and spinal cord, causing a wide range of potential symptoms, including problems with vision, arm or leg movement, sensation, or balance. It's a lifelong condition that can sometimes cause serious disability, although it can occasionally be mild. In many cases, it's possible to treat symptoms. However, average life expectancy is slightly reduced for people with MS. The symptoms of MS vary widely from person to person and can affect any part of the body. Also, depending on the type of MS, the symptoms may come and go in phases or get steadily worse over time. Symptoms of MS include fatigue, difficulty walking, blurred vision, problems controlling the bladder, numbness or tingling in different parts of the body. Also, patients with multiple sclerosis experience muscle stiffness and spasms. Multiple sclerosis starts in one of two general ways, with individual relapses attacks, exacerbations, or with gradual progression. Between 8 and 9 of every 10 people with MS are diagnosed with the relapsing remitting type. Someone with relapsing remitting MS will have episodes of new or worsening symptoms, known as relapses. These typically worsen over a few days, last for days to weeks to months, then slowly improve over a similar time period. Relapses often occur without warning, but are sometimes associated with a period of illness or stress. Between one and two in every 10 people with the condition start their MS with a gradual worsening of symptoms. In primary progressive MS, symptoms gradually worsen and accumulate over several years, and there are no periods of remission, though people often have periods where their condition appears to stabilize. Now we know what are the manifestations of the disease, but what causes multiple sclerosis? MS is an autoimmune condition. This is when something goes wrong with the immune system, and it mistakenly attacks a healthy part of the body, in this case, the brain or spinal cord of the nervous system. In MS, the immune system attacks the layer that surrounds and protects the nerves called the myelin sheath. This damages and scars the sheath and potentially the underlying nerves, meaning that messages traveling along the nerves become slowed or disrupted. Exactly what causes the immune system to act in this way is unclear, but most experts think a combination of genetic and environmental factors is involved. MS can be a challenging condition to live with, but new treatments over the past 20 years have considerably improved the quality of life of people with the condition. MS itself is rarely fatal, but complications may arise from severe MS, such as chest or bladder infections or swallowing difficulties. The average life expectancy for people with MS is around 5 to 10 years lower than average, and this gap appears to be getting smaller all the time. In the next video, we will discuss the available treatment options available to manage the disease. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more.